1986, there was a big explosion in Chernobyl. I think everybody knows about that. Um, and a huge amount of radiation came out and blew north and dropped on Belarus. So it's not the, it's not the really urgent short-term stuff that killed loads of people, which was really bad. Um, it's this long, the long-term effects of the radiation that dropped onto Belarus. 70% of what blew out of Chernobyl landed on Belarus and over 25% of their land is now contaminated. So it was set up by Owen Keogh um, over t about 20 years ago and uh, essentially it's there to relieve the suffering of the children. So if they can escape from Belarus where um, they're living in the contaminated conditions for a month every year between the ages of 7 and 12, it helps their immune system to cope better with the effects of the radiation. The Russian teacher at the local school actually had heard about it, thought it would be a good idea to set up a group in Easing World and uh, put an advert in the local paper and I went along with a friend. Alwyn was there, she made a presentation and that was it, I was hooked. I just wanted to help these kids. Because the contamination will be there for thousands of years, uh, the, the grass is growing in contaminated areas, the cows are eating the grass, so the milk's a bit contaminated, the vegetables are growing there, they're living there. So essentially it just has an underlying effect on their immune system. We bring 12 children over uh, for a month we have 12 host families here uh, in, in and around Easing World who um, the children live with um, for the month and then they come with two interpreters so we need two interpreter hosts as well and um, Monday to Friday we have a program of activities so we hire a minibus and we take them around, we take them to the seaside, we take them swimming, we go to parks, we go to um, museums, a, a fantastic, honestly a fantastic program of events all fundraise from local people in local places.